good God, the amount of requests, the amount of like thumbs up, the amount of people on our Discord who are chirping at us to watch this. I... I know this is by Glitch, the same people that do Murder Drones. And Murder Drones is pretty hit or miss in a lot of cases out there. But this, I'm unsure of. This is, a lot of people have said this is disturbingly good fun. And I don't know what to make of that. But The Amazing Digital Circus. Uh, I know that circuses have kind of taken a hit... Uh, because of, is it the close? I think Barnum and Bailey. Uh, let's see. Barnum and yeah, Ringling Bros. Bar Barnum and Bailey. Wasn't sure if they were. Okay, five year hiatus. And that's if the circus would resume touring, but without animals, clowns, or ring. Why? Why no clown? Is it because of the the pair like the fear of uh of like of clowns? I don't I don't get it. And why no ringmaster? Why? The ringmaster is basically the one that runs the circus. It's just like he's like he or she is the one that comes out. And it's like welcome, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the show. Hopefully you are. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, to me, I've never really felt the need to support circuses, and it's mostly because of the treatment of animals within them, you know? It's like, I don't... like I'll, I like the idea of zoos, because zoos usually are also doing, like, essentially the things that, like, um... My brain is blanking on the world. It's like animal conservation, you know, at the same time. That they're having people come in and pay to see the animals but people are being kept at a distance from the animals the animals are being kept in a habitat that is as similar as possible to their original habitat circuses they're putting like animals in cages and then taking them out doing tricks and stuff with them and everything you know and it's like while yes that is entertaining it's not really cool to the animals in my opinion personally well, no, and honestly, I don't approve of a lot of it. My whole thing is, my whole thing with using animals in the circus is, once again, different times and an un, like not being properly educated on what is right and what is wrong. Is this doing harm to the animal more often than not? And now that a lot of people are aware of it, I mean... I'm glad that they got rid of the... Uh, notice I didn't say, oh, they got rid of the animals. I understand why they got rid of the animals. I understand. But clowns and the ringmaster, I don't understand. Yeah, I don't know about that. Uh, that, that, like, the animals, yes, good. All well and good. But clowns and the ringmaster don't make any sense to me. I don't get it. I mean... I mean, and there's also, like a difference like there, there's a difference between having animals there purely for profit but, and like actually having animals that the people there love and care for you know like and it would really depend on the situation like what I knew about them and how open they were with how they treat their animals behind the scenes as to whether or not I would approve of a specific circus you know what I mean know, well, know what and, I mean well and and that's the thing I once again I when I went and saw Ringling Brothers when I was a kid, uh, I had fun. I had fun. They had an elephant that came out and basically uh, was and basically was just like was roaming around. There was someone sitting on top of it waving. I don't remember them doing like the step up or anything like that. You know, they didn't do the the stuff that you would know. The only thing they said they they said you know. No loud noises or nothing, no flash photography whenever the animals are out because it can potentially scare them. Mm -hmm. And that's and I think that's a, a more than logical thing. But once again, it's, you know, you're not 100% sure if the animal is being treated properly whenever eyes, you know, the eyes of the public are not on them. And I think it's just better to not have animals in the circus. Mm -hmm. uh, that's That's just my... My overall opinion 
on the whole ordeal. I just don't understand why Clowns of the Ringmaster had to go. That's it. But as for uh, a digital circus, in a digital circus, anything goes. Yeah. So I guess we're going to see how, uh, how a digital circus is ran. Let's check it out. Here we go. Uh. Oh. Welcome to the amazing Digital Circus! Uh. My name is Kane, I'm your ringmaster, and I'm here to show you the most jaw-dropping, heart-stopping, mind-bending paraphernalia you've ever laid your eyes upon! Isn't that right, Bubble? That's right, Kane! I can't wait to see what you've got cooking up for today! Well, let's not waste any time! I think, I think Nintendo's gonna sue somebody for the chain chomp. <laughs> I'm joking, by the way. Wait, what was that? Disclaimer. Comfo <laughs> the clown did not show the today. Kaufmo. Okay. Kauf oh for God. Is that a is that a reference to Andy Kaufman? Damn it. Jesus, I'm disturbed by the mouth with the the eyeballs. Uh, okay. Kane, is this one of your NPCs or is this a new sucker? Because if it's a new character, we're gonna have to redo this whole theme song. I'm not doing that again. My, my! It appears a new human has entered this realm! How do I take this headset off? Just keep grabbing at it. That works for all of us. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. What's going on? I, I put on some weird headset and now I'm here. Who are you people? Why can't I take it off? Where am I? Let's just try to calm down. Everything's gonna be okay, new stuff. We've all been through this. You just need to get your head what to... What the... What is going on? What? Profanity? Le uh, uh, oh, God. Is there a profanity filter? Well, it makes my job easier. No, 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 my dear. We can't have any of that foul language around here. The amazing digital circus is a place to be enjoyed by all ages. You, my friend, stumbled into an incredible world of wonders where anything can happen. Except for swearing. Oh, my God. Uh, well. <laughs> okay, how many did she go through there? Did she cover all 13? Well, anything can happen! Except for swearing. Mm. Oh like my twice. god. Oh! But she did say one earlier, so maybe she didn't say that one. Maybe. So, yeah, I think she used all 13. Well, how do I, you know, leave? Uh. Well, don't freak out about it or anything, but, uh, we don't exactly... You can't. What? Shut up, Jax. But, yeah, he's right. Welcome to your new home. And your new body. N a new home? What do you mean? So this is an Guys, isekai. don't be mean. Oh, for God's sake, she... I, okay. No wonder everybody's yeah. requesting it. No, it's a, it's a digit... It's... It's a, digi, it's a digi isekai. It's, yeah, it's not like, it, there's the magical isekai, then there's the digital isekai. The digital isekai is like Sword Art Online. Ugh. Whereas magic isekai, that's like um, Konosuba and slime. Stuck here for years. Old Kinger over there supposedly been here the longest. <gasps> Did someone say something about an insect collection? That's why he's crazy. <laughs> eh. Oh, okay. Now I get it. This is a dream, and 
I should just play along until I wake up, right? Whatever helps you. Whatever you say, kid. <laughs> that's uh, that's Michael. Uh, I know that voice. They broke Michael the comedy. Who? Michael Corvac, uh, Angel Dust. Oh, uh, okay. Mask. <laughs> oh. So, Kane, we having a new adventure today for the newbie or what? I'd like to give our brand new member a tour of the circus grounds first. <laughs> Off we go. Here we have the tent. This is where your living quarters are, as well as all sorts of other activities. These activities may include. Ball pits, mini golf, and more. And here we have the grounds. Drown yourself in the digital lake or engage in ridery at the digital carnival. Well, what was that first one? Drown yourself in the digital lake. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. Engage in ridery at the digital carnival. Night, day, it's all okay. The choice is yours, a cosmic buffet. Is that all there is? Of course not. This is the void. We don't venture out into the void. Not even I know what's out there. <laughs> we stay right here. Where I like keep that's my unsettling. That is unsettling. Also, uh, it's like the void. This is literally like. Uh, have you heard the joke about like, uh, the void? Well, at least you can yell into the uh, into the void, whereas the abyss sort of just swallows you whole, and there's not much you can do about it. I'd rather deal with the void than the abyss. We don't venture out into the void. Not even I know what's out there. Because <laughs> if you right stare too long into the abyss, the abyss stares back. Yes. Here, where I can keep my hundreds of all-seeing eyes on you. Hello, Kane. I love you. <laughs> Get out of here before the moon gets frisky. Weird. Wait, what's that? <laughs> Whoa! Clean up on aisle you. I'm on it, boss. Um, why are you like this? Bubble? <laughs> wait, wait. Was that an exit door I saw out there? Is that a way to leave? What exit? If there was a way to leave, I'm pretty sure we'd have all left by now. <laughs> yeah, what are you talking <laughs> about? Uh, 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 I assure you, there is no magical exit door. You're probably just experiencing digital hallucinations from your mind's transition to the digital plane. But, uh, I swear I saw digital hallucinations. He's holding them all hostage. How about we talk about something else? Like your name. My name? Uh, my name is. Uh, uh. Oh God! Why can't I remember my name? Nobody can remember their name once they enter the digital circus. One of the few things I don't have control over are your minds. So all I can help you with is coming up with a new one. Uh, what's my name? Don't you worry your little head. Your new name can be anything. Hereby acknowledging that your chosen name and your names may not breach the digital circus user license agreement, stating that your name may not include objectionable content. Objectionable content includes but is not limited to sexually explicit materials, obscene, defamatory, libelous, slanderous, violent, and or unlawful content or profanity. What are you? <laughs> wow. Has to be within terms of service. Yes. Thinking. Huh. I don't care. Just pick anything. Let's see. What do you think of? I don't. You're right. Terrible. Let's try that again. <laughs> what do you think of Pomni? Huh? Uh, sure. I think I just. God, Sooks, you're right, Jax. We should have a brand new adventure for our new member, Pomni. I said that like five minutes ago. You! Do you like adventure? Activity? Wonder? Danger? Horror? Pain? Suffering? Pain? Death? Disease? Death? Angel food cake? Ow! You parasite! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't really. Since you're new around here, we're gonna make it a simple in house adventure to warm you up to how things work around here. What? No, God! I don't want an in-house adventure. Don't worry, Zubal. I'll make it something unobtrusive that you can still choose to not get involved with. Today's adventure is... Gather the Gloinks! <laughs> That's right! The entire circus tent will be infested with Gloinks! And you gotta catch them all! What are Gloinks? What are they? 
I'm glad you asked, Bubble. They're small. And what do they do? They. Loinks are small, mischievous critters that steal anything and everything they run into. Why do these humanoid hash browns do this? How do you stop them? That's for you to find out. Now, good luck. And <laughs> so they're catamaries. Catamari damasi. What did any of that mean? Oh, that's just one of Kane's little adventures. They're just something fun to do to, you know prevent us from going insane <laughs> speak for yourself if anyone needs me then f off oh god oh please no! <laughs> they stole all of they stole all of her oh, oh no they killed zubal anyway, <laughs> i love it i love it zubal's voice actress and character reminds me of someone and i'm trying to think of who Another i wonder if that's elsie lovelock else. Oh, uh, Luna. But there's another character. Yeah, Luna. That's what it reminds me of. I wonder if that's Luna. Then f off. I think it is. That is. Like, that's extremely similar to how Luna acts. Yeah. Help me! Oh, no. They killed Zubal. Anyway, you guys want to go get something to eat? Oh, wait, we should go check on Kofmo. I'm pretty sure he'd like to meet Pomni. My impenetrable fortress! You want to come <laughs> with us to check on Kofmo? No, not really. I think Kofmo's gone insane. Last time I spoke with him, he was rambling endlessly about some exit. Kind of like you, Pomni. You might be going insane, too. But wait, wouldn't that more likely mean the exit does exist? Could also mean you just have a jump start and losing your mind. Wait, what about Zubal? Well, I think I'd like to ask him about it. Uh, if this was real, which it isn't, because it's a dream. <laughs> she still thinks this is a dream. Uh, why are you looking at me like that? I'm fine with doing whatever, as long as I get to see funny things happen to people. Okay, I've already had enough of these things. <sighs> you? Me and Pomni will go check on Kofmo, which leaves Crybaby and Hoo Ha together to go handle the Zubal situation. Hoo Ha! <laughs> I'm a king, sir! <laughs> do you think pairing them up together is a good idea? Of course I do. They're the two most mentally stable and capable characters to be paired together. <laughs> Come on, ladies. <laughs> They're the two most mental. Just say. Just say. Me depressed out of my gourd or the fact that I'm 35 and this is my life. My nephew, who I've been tasked to babysit, being forced to sit still for more than 10 seconds. ...stable and capable characters to be paired together. Come on, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I love my nephew to death, but ADHD. He cannot be quelled. Let's go harass the clown. My comedy mask is broken again. Ah! Oh! Gangle, you startled me. So, this is where we all live. <laughs> or, well, where oh, we all sleep ooh, at where'd night. Where'd you come from? Even though we don't really <clears throat> need to sleep, it's sometimes Wait nice a minute. to kind of take a break from... Wait a minute, I saw that. There's red X's over the fronts of... I'll sleep at night, mm. even though we don't... Uh-huh. Something's happened to a bunch of characters. Yeah... Also, this abstract 3D art reminds me of Windows 98 uh, 3D, like 3D modeling programs from back in the day. I don't really need to sleep. It's sometimes nice to kind of take a break from everything and have a bit of a routine, you know? I'm sure there will be one for... Oh, look, you already got one. I still don't understand about the adventures... Why even go on them at all? Why not try to find Wait, a way? Wait, why was the king crossed out? King. Adventures? Yeah. Why even go on them at all? Yeah, the king's crossed out. Why is that? That's the queen. Oh, that is the queen. That Yeah. Damn. So there used to be a queen and they're gone, which might explain part of why the king's losing his mind. Not try to find a way to leave? Well, we usually do. There's king. When we first arrive, but after a while, you start to realize that... You 
Okay, I see how I've this seen works. Two of those. So this this is basically rooms. like empty doors, mm. and whenever a new person comes in, a new one just pops into existence, and this gets and this you know blank slate gets filled out with the character that comes in. You really can't leave, and constantly chasing an unattainable goal will start driving you a bit crazy. And eventually, you get to asking what the point of anything is, and you completely lose sight of who you are and why you're even alive. And when you reach your breaking point, something really terrible can happen. Ah, uh, but that's not something we need to deal with today. Above anything else, the adventures give us something to do that keeps our minds healthy and stimulated. Yeah, I don't mind. Goodness, this is all a dream, right, Pomni? <laughs> Why are we here again? What are we doing? We're getting one of our friends. Golf Mo. Huh. Maybe he's not in his room? I hope he's alright. Don't worry, dollface. I've got a key to his room. Whoa, uh, wait, you whoa, get a... why? You, you, you shouldn't have keys to anyone's room. Nah, I've got keys everywhere, and you've all been fine. By the way, I may have left something in your room today, so let me know if you find it. Uh, you're not afraid of Santa feeds, are you? Jax! Literally my only <laughs> fear? Why would you do this? What? It could be a completely unrelated question. You'll never know until it's too late. <laughs> That doesn't look good. An eye on it, coffee. I'm gonna head up. See ya. Oh, <laughs> been obstructed. That, that's okay. What is that? Uh, it might be that terrible thing I was talking about earlier. When you reach your breaking point. Huh? Okay, wait. Maybe there's still time to fix them before we get Kane. didn't always get along like when you called me out for fake laughing at your jokes i swear i really did think they were funny i was just having a bit of a bad day <laughs> oh ow hey pommy you think you help me out here i understand you don't want to Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Everything's gone abstract. Oh. Go back and help her now. <laughs> I don't know what I'm looking at here. We saw Gloink carry one of Sybil's pieces down there, remember? Oh, yeah. Thank you for the recap. <laughs> Boy, we're not very good at this, are we? <laughs> I didn't like this at first, but <laughs> it was quickly growing on me. It is me too. Also, you can hear like you can hear her Zubel like yelling yeah, down she's there. She's yelling. <laughs> yeah, I wonder I, I wonder what she's yelling. I need an isolation of that. Carry one of Zubel's pieces. I don't. I don't know what I heard. Oh, oh God! <laughs> Here. We saw Gloink carry one of Zubel's pieces down there. Remember? Oh yeah. Thank you for the recap. Boy, we're not very good at this, are we? <laughs> <sighs> Fellas. Jax! We found the Zubel hole. Cool. <sighs> How is Kofmo doing? I hope he's not still mad at me for not laughing at his jokes. Oh, he's doing great. In fact, I don't think I've ever seen him this happy before. Well, it's good to know he hasn't completely lost his mind. He actually asked me to give you this. <laughs> you did! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, come on. Oh. Spare! <laughs> 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 All right then. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but whenever they mess with like stuff that pops up like that, I always laugh at it. Like Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Whenever Eddie put his hand behind the sun, and he was like, "Huh?" And he picked up the sun and took a bite out of it, and it yeah, turned it into the moon. moon. And then all of a sudden, it went dark, and Jimmy was just like, "Who turned out the lights? It got really dark really fast." <laughs> Those look like the worms from Beetlejuice. I think it's a nest. Hello? Ragatha? Perfectly cut that screen. That was your name, right? Hey, look. I'm... I didn't mean to leave you behind like that. I... Just... Look at my hand. I... I didn't know what to do. It, it, it's okay. What you need to do right now is find Kane. He'll be able to fix me up and take care of Kokomo. Okay, but where can I find him? Uh, I don't really know. Look around. I just love the fact that, uh, did you see her, her eyes were like playing Pong with her nose? Yeah. Dude. Uh, okay, I'll get him. You just stay right there. Not that you can really move or anything. Uh, just hang in there. I'll be right back. I promise. Cool. Oh, so pommy. I'm sorry. Your your first day here. BTO. Terrible. Uh, yeah. Well, don't worry about it. I'm just gonna go get Kane now. Hello? Kane? We have a bit of an issue here! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mind? <laughs> <laughs> it's <was> like, <laughs> it such a good meme. <laughs> Again? Kafmo. What form of non Glorchian mass dares presume presence in the nest of the Glorch Queen? Oh, is that who you are? <coughs> you know, you could have asked for my consent before forcing me to see something so completely and utterly disgusting. <laughs> How despicable! A rabbit wing that runs its mouth in the presence of my royal figure. Well, as a royal <laughs> myself, I would like to kindly ask if... Oh, look, there's Zubal. Hi, Zubal. Ah, uh, help me, you idiots! Kind of rude, Zubal. Now I don't want to help you. No, oh, I always lose. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> gotcha! Oh. That wasn't supposed to happen. Hey, King, are you mother? Eh, I'll be fine. Uh oh. Ah, barrel of monkeys. Yeah. Uh 
Aw. Poor monkey. God, where is Kane? Uh... Are you in the Stanley Parable now? here for the adventure or anything. I'm just here to hide from the... Uh-oh. Oh, thank God you're okay. You didn't experience a game show in there, did you? Uh, I... What are you talking about? What's happening? It's just Kofmo. Don't worry about it. Kofmo abstracted? Nah, he's fine. Guys, over there. Oh. Huh. Nifty. Ladies first. No, wait. wait I also just realized there? that she reminds me of the Rocco's Modern Life logo for some reason. Oh, God, you're right. <laughs> Rocco's Modern wait, Life. not even here? Wasn't this whole thing for her? Be quiet. I can't hear the escalator. <laughs> what a dick. See, I'm noticing that every arrow is pointing away from the door. And then if you look on the ones that she's coming out of, the arrow is pointing towards the door. Stanley very slowly started to lose his mind. <laughs> he kept going through the same exit door, expecting a different result. But unfortunately, the exit doors merely led to more pathways. Oh yeah, the expanding hallway. The closer you get to the door, the slower time goes. And now you're in the void. Two thousand one, a space odyssey. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> know how to make me say this exact sentence. Gus! Alert on my wacky watch at this hour? <laughs> oh no! Someone's venturing out into the void! They'll get totally spoiled! There you go! Now what the heck happened around here? Oh yeah, my doing. Kane! Kofmo went through a sort of Kofmosis and abstracted! Kofmo abstracted? Why didn't anybody tell me? <laughs> and into the cellar you go! Oh, Jesus. Oh, my God. Man, I can't believe Kofmo just gave up like that. 
I mean, no offense, Kinger, but I always thought you would be next. Thank you. Guess it just goes to show you can't rely on Kinger for anything. I am in so much pain! Oops. Oh. Nifty. I do have to apologize for lying about the exit. I knew how much all of you have been wanting there to be one, but, you know, I was having so much trouble figuring out what to put on the other side and ended up never quite finishing it. And you know how I never like letting people see my unfinished work, especially if it leads you out into the void. Anyway, looks like you defeated the Gloit Queen, so I guess the adventure's over. Your reward is a delicious digital feast cooked by our head bubble chef. Made with all the love I'm legally allowed to give. <laughs> you know, I am pretty hungry. You didn't even do anything. So what? I can still be hungry. Well, not really, because we don't need to eat, drink, or sleep in this digital world. So the digital food here only gives off the virtual sensation of eating without any of the nutritional benefits. Sheesh, lay off it. Since when are you an expert on the digital world? Expert on the what? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the madhouse. Population you. Okay, so Ashley Nichols. Oh, and then Elsie Lovelock was uh, was the Gloink Queen. Michael Korva uh, Kovac, of course, you know, was Jax. That doesn't surprise me. Oh, Meow. what is it, buddy? I think I'm getting hungry. You gotta wait a couple more hours, buddy. Mm-hmm. You all right? Oh, cool. What? Lizzie Freeman's in Genshin. Oh. Uh, Neato. God dang it. I forgot her character's name, though. Let's see if there's anything yeah, else. I recognize the character immediately, but I'll forget her name. No. There is nothing else. So, hold on. Hold on. Let's see. Yon Fei. Yeah, she's Yon Fei. So, main character is Yon Fei from Genshin. And Ashley Nichols. Ah, okay. She's a clean. She's a cleanup artist for Hasbin Hotel, and she's also. She's currently dating Michael Kovac. That's mm. really cool. Oh, she apparently worked on Lackadaisy as well. Oh. Huh. All right. There you go. So. That was a lot better than I was expecting it to be. Mm -hmm. That was actually really good. When it first started out, I was just like, mm, this is kind of meh, but it picked up pretty quick. Actually, it's pretty funny. It has a decent plot to it. And the animation is really good, too. Yes. The animation is actually really, really good. And I'm glad that uh, glad we were able to watch this, because I wasn't sure what to expect, but now that I've seen it, I'm just like, well, damn, 
that's that and, will... uh, I think the setup kind of makes it so that it probably won't suffer from the same problem that I'm having with murder drones which is just me having difficulty following what's going on all the time uh, because in the digital world it has the ability to be more stream of consciousness and I can just kind of enjoy the randomness and goofiness you know yes Whereas, like, the randomness and goofiness of motor dr murder drones kind of throws me off a lot of the times. Yeah, I could see that. Gosh. Yeah, uh, overall pretty dang good. Oh, damn, they've switched up. Oh, they've switched it up on us. On, like, the, uh... Mm -hmm. They've switched up how, uh... Like, how like, the menu thing works. So, yeah, they, because <laughs> usually it was, yeah, it was up here where you could go to YouTube City and now it's down here. Uh, it's weird. I don't know. But, all right. Anyway. So, uh, yeah, this was, this was actually very, very good. I'm, like, Glitch is doing great work promoting these works and the people who made it also did amazing jobs and the voice cast was great the the story like you said very stream of consciousness so i think it can be more easily digestible than murder drones is but also we'll have to see how like how it progresses because this was just the pilot and if this is what we can expect from it i'm i'm down dude i am down uh all right so for now, I think that's going to do it. Once again, if you want to see more from uh, Glitch, feel free to click their name in the title of the video. And if you want to see more from us, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, leave a like. We greatly appreciate it. And until next time, I'm Nate. I am Nick, and this is Vega. And we'll see you in the next one, everybody. Peace.